Hello and welcome, you're here with me Cheddar Tumblr. We're in DCS, we're in the F-16. We have got some laser guided bombs and we're going to change the fuse codes. Now the old procedure would be that you would bring up the knee pad and the first page you would bring up would have laser codes that you could change. That has now uh, been updated. So what we need to do this time is, I will just show you the key, is uh, we need to bring up the communication menu. So I'm going to bring up now and we're going to talk to the ground crew and we're going to rearm and refuel. Now I already have bombs loaded on here, but um, if you want to change that, that'd be great. Um, but if you get a laser guided bomb, well, most bombs now actually have a fusing option, uh, which is this little orange tab here. You can maybe see me hovering over. If you click on that, it now gives us all of the fusing options that we can do. I'm not going to talk about the other ones. All we care about at the moment is the laser code. So you type in your code. So I normally use 1678, and then you can copy if you want to. Um, and now all of the GBU-12s that I have will now have 1678. Um, if you try and type in an illegal code, so if I tried to type in, say, 1600, for example, you notice it's automatically changing for me uh, to a number that is acceptable. If I tried to type in uh, 16, uh, yeah, 9, see, I tried to type in 9 and it's gone to 8, and then 0, it's gone. Um, and that's how you do the code. So if you try to type in 9999, so it'll always give you a legal code no matter what you do. So we've typed in my code, so I've changed it to 1678, and then I'm going to hit OK. Request rearming. Now this next bit takes about 30 seconds, because what he's doing is he's looking at each of the pylons and saying, is it different to what I've, you've asked for, you know, for the actual standard loadout? So after about 30 seconds, he should say rearming complete. Let's wait for him to do his thing. Any second now. Come on, fella. Rearming complete. There you go. And then we're good to go. And you can do your normal startup and, and, and off you go. This also works if you've picked a hot start um, and also if you've picked to start on the runway. Um, but if you're in there, obviously you can't change that code. Once the codes are set, once the fusing options are set, that's you done. Hopefully that's been some help. If you have any comments or questions, write down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, happy hunting and stay safe.